Hello and welcome back to RimWorld. We're continuing our playthrough here of our Tundra Ranchers. And hopefully we're going to make some decent progress. Right now we're just focusing on putting concrete down pretty much everywhere. So we stopped tracking dirt all over the place. Looks like we're mostly working on our storage room at the moment. Uh, the other thing I would like to do is kind of start framing out uh, this whole middle space. So I think what we're going to do is use the little plan tool. I think we're just going to come straight across here and we're going to come down from here to here. We'll kind of close this off. Ultimately, we'll probably do a little more than that, but, and, and the main reason I'm going a little further out is I want to enclose the, both of these. All right, we'll go ahead and go here, and that should be good because we're going to come across here as well. Uh, I will have to move kind of our, our, our whole graveyard and garbage dump situation, but that's okay. We can work around that. I just need to do something that's a little better than what we got going on right at the moment. Uh, Monkey is doing a good job focusing on research, which is something that definitely needs to happen. But we, we are getting to a point where we're kind of outgrowing this limited space of a base that we have. And our only choice is to go out further. How is Hawk not dead yet? Ooh, Alpha Beavers. That is a problem. Actually, it's not as huge of a problem as you would think. Because we're not actually doing anything with the wood outside of the base. We, we planted this out here. It's slow growing. But it contains a bunch of birch trees. Most of them are, you know, on the way to being grown. It's fine. We're fine. At least for the time being. Uh, we do need to do some cleaning, though. This is getting a little, little unkempt. I don't like the fact that we're eating raw meat either. So we probably should do something about that. Apron, you need to start working, cooking on the electric stove here. All right, we get, we're getting some heat up and running over here, which is fine. Don't take the meat. Uh-oh, it paused. That's not good. That means somebody's getting attacked. Jazza, where are you going? What are you doing? No, we're not going to touch that. That is really dumb. You're going to go back to base if you don't die. You are a silly, silly man, Jazza. All right, let's get you back to base. All right, Holder, you can go ahead and... We need some more meat. It is definitely a problem. These alpha beavers are... Right now, they're too close to the bad guys, so... We're going to have to wait a minute. Now, the thrombos... Huh. They are kind of right outside our base. Let's go ahead and take up positions. Just in case we are able to pull off a, a thrombo kill. Uh, all right. You could run into here. Hopefully you'll make it. I don't know if you will, but we're going to try. If you could at least make it in the door, that would be ideal. Oh, the thrombo missed. All right, so you have no weapon in your hand. Why are you just standing here like an idiot? I don't see any weapons available. I guess you could equip this normal revolver. Be better than a kick in the teeth, I guess. There you go. Uh, he's bleeding out in 11 hours. Which is, you know, less than ideal. Um, we should be able to kill this thrombo. Alright, let's, let's... Let's, like, let... let Let's let everybody back um, to focus on, you know, getting this stuff all carved up and rested and everything because some moods are getting a little iffy. Let's just try to get, get back to normal. Uh, okay, so it's it's just a scratch. It's not, I mean, it's definitely not good, but at least it's not um, an arm severed off or anything like that. Uh... I guess we're going to reprioritize cooking because we're out of food yet again. I really would like a, a chef. Somebody who's just dedicated to cooking all the time. I don't think we have anybody that 
has a cooking passion, so that's a little unfortunate. But we work with what we got. Bonnie, you are going to have to rescue and maybe even, you know, fix them. Uh, let's prioritize tending. Oh, boy. One hour? That was a mistake. I should not have... Yikes. Okay, so we used up we used up our only Glitter World medicine, which is really unfortunate, but we'll just have to work with what we got. All right, a little party happening. That's nice. Bonnie, are you participating? Looks like you're just focusing on trying to recruit. Another mech cluster, huh? I guess that, that's what happens with the um, weather being as bad as it is. So the humans can't quite make it. How is Hawk not, like, starved to death by now? Oh, he's literally just about to. Okay. That that makes sense. Makes a lot more sense than what, what, what I thought was happening. Uh, this Thrumbo is 1.9 days from rotting. Okay, we are going to get back over here. And we're going to try for another Thrumbo. Huntsman is very slow. Uh, Jazza, I think you are going to be our guy. All right, so you go here, you go here. Hopefully this will be enough to get, to take down this Thrumbo. Okay, 13 hours. Another Mechanoid Cluster? Are you kidding me? All right, this one's falling right inside what would be the borders of our base. That is crazy. So many mech clusters. All right. Well, at least that's being drugged back. Um, this one's not actually too bad. There is a, a turret, which kind of sucks, but outside of that, it's fine. Uh, oh, you were constructing a high tech research bench. Well, that's unfortunate. How did Daniels fail? Daniels is like the man. Got 16 construction. All right. So we have a lot of potential. A lot of potential issues here. Oh, they ripped down the uh, anima tree. That's not good at all. That's going to put people in a bit of a bad mood. All right, we are going to have to start butchering. Oh, we have a z event. That's not good. Good thing is we're not actually using that much electricity at this point. So that's fine. Daniels, you're... Yeah. Unless unless we manage to get Daniels on a uh, conversion attempt, I just don't see how that's going to happen. All right, somebody needs to prioritize cooking. We're definitely not uh, doing too well here. All right, let him focus on cooking. When they wake up, hopefully they'll be able to do something. How are we doing on the timer? So we do have two little things we can do. The room impressiveness is not great, but I think if we clean up a little... It might help the impressiveness just a touch. You know, maybe clean up the vomit around the speakers might be a good idea. Clean up some blood. All right. That is much better. And that brings us to a 94%, which is pretty tolerable. Transport pod crash. Tooth, let's check you out. So you're a night owl and you're abrasive. No, you could die. I certainly don't want you as part of my group. Did we? No. All right, so meals are just dropping there because they're out of space. Medical emergency. Okay, risk of death because you're unhappy. I guess let's prioritize feeding him because that is the current crisis for him. Okay, there we go. All right, monkey is plowing along with the research. Did we finish building this research bench yet? We did not. All right, Daniels, I think I want you to focus on that once you're done with the cloud watching. Because that needs to be a little bit of a higher priority. We definitely need to get that done. And then... Alright, Galabritis is back up. Or Gal... Gal... Galro Abetas. I'm never going to pronounce that right. I'm going to keep butchering it. But... Let's go ahead and get this started. And get a little party going. Get some... Some mood... Buff going. Oh, that pump shotgun's only a 10%. We definitely have to get some, like, weapon production going, because this is not good. All right, so that was fun. But unfortunately, it didn't convince anybody to join us. All right, hopefully Daniels gets this built. All right, so that is up and running. We do need a light. All right, so 
still working on the conversion here. Monkey's putting in the putting in the time. Uh, this is not good. What is going on? Jazz, are you being stupid again? You are. Well, you're doing what you're what you think you should be doing, which is just not what you should be doing. All right, I'm just gonna forbid everything over here, in general, and you just get out of here. <laughs> oh, good, he got hit. Well, at least he's in a tending. We'll let him tend. We're just mining up some steel over here, which is fine. All right, Monkey's got some high-tech research bench going. Shed a little light on the situation. That should help with the work speed. The temperature's good. Daniels can refocus on finishing up all this concrete garbage. Um, all right, it's not dirty, which is good. So we should be able to complete that. Uh, hay and thrombo meat. Feel like I should add thrombo meat here temporarily, just because we definitely need some. We definitely need some meat to feed our dying, starving muffalos. Speaking of wildlife, what is the story with the alpha beavers? They're all down here, so I think we should probably get a party going to hunt them. Actually, I would, I would argue that we should probably prioritize that. Uh, all right, he's just missing a bit of a toe, and he has a bruise from a needle gun. He kind of got lucky there with just getting a bruise. Uh, he needs a jacket, though. Apparently... He ran out of uh, he ran out of range and needs a coat. Do we still have parkas being made? We do. Holder, does Holder need to be the one making it? I don't think so. All right, uh, I just used up all the meat. <laughs> Oops. No, we need we need that for human meat, my friend. Let's reprioritize getting that done. All right, let's uh, take everybody out here that has a weapon. You could, you could hang back. You don't have a gun. Well, we should probably grab whatever gun you did have. Did I drop one here? I thought he dropped one when he was injured, but I cannot seem to find it. Oh, we hauled it back out here to the trash. All right, well, you can equip this weapon out here. We're going to take out these alpha beavers. All right, this is not going to end well, I don't think. All right, let's keep running. Ah! All right, so you guys attack that one. You guys attack that one. All right, let's keep moving. All right, <laughs> that's much better. All right, so we managed to kill most of those alpha beavers, if not all of them. So we definitely need to unforbid them because that is food and we definitely need to haul that back to the base where the hell do you think you're going uh no <laughs> no we definitely don't need to be doing that right now all right let's haul these alpha beavers back i don't want to rescue any of them i just want to murder all of them all right let's prioritize the hauling uh he'll never do hauling so that makes sense right enter the days okay well you can haul this alpha beaver then and then daniel's eh, not daniel's apron gonna have to do some butchering of some alpha beavers here which is fine and then somebody could haul this the kibble so at least there's some food for our animals to eat because they are getting a little bit hungry we have some food available for our people which is good that's better than nothing uh, Fiesta family, that, that's a doable thing. We should clean the room before we start that, though, just because of the, um, the quality effect. All right, let's unforbid these alpha beavers, make sure we can get them all chopped up just fine. And then he's not happy, so we're going to have to let him, let him do what he needs to do. Clear the prioritized work. All right, you go ahead and eat. Hopefully this research finishes pretty quickly. Uh, Holder, I think you are going to be cleaning up some some of the mess here before we have a party. I want to make sure it's as clean as we possibly can be. Uh, let's do the Fiesta family first. Just make sure we get everybody in here. 
and then we'll immediately follow it up with the other fiesta i'm surprised we haven't gotten any recruits yet i thought some of these were supposed to trigger new recruits hey look at that as i say it it happens uh trev okay so trev take a look at you you are a volatile jogger which is not great but you like to melee things it's still not a good cook all right well we'll we'll equip you with a thrombo horn and we'll just get you killed pretty much immediately let's assign you to herbal medicine cold you can carry two herbal medicine with you and then we'll equip a thrombo horn and you should be good to go there uh let's do a fiesta of country country fiesta right is still freaking out so he's not going to benefit from any of these but hey another wanderer look at that i just complain about it once and then people arrive it's not a great spot to arrive but take a look at your bio you're greedy and you're capable of spewing fire you're great at construction still not a good cook all right well we'll uh add you to the list sign you herbal medicine you you should wear cold gear hopefully you can make it back to the base without getting myrtleized i think you'll be okay because you're going to go on an angle and enter there which is fine all right our animals should be okay we have kibble out here it's not going to rot we have some food production going on trev is not good at cooking so i'm not sure why he's doing that also not sure like the hypothermia is not a good situation um we definitely should be maybe moving some of the beds over here we need more beds actually i'm gonna move i'm gonna move this bed over here as well that was an unforgettable fiesta 16 mood wow that is ridiculously good all right we've recruited yet another person doago I'm going to go ahead and just move these prison beds into here just so that we have more beds available because currently that is problematic. Uh, sterile materials is good to have, but what we really need now more than anything is some weapons. So precision rifling is ultimately what we need. So let's do gas operation and then precision rifling. And then we could start making some assault rifles for everyone because at this stage in the game, everybody needs to be like, we can't be running around with bows and pistols. Like it's a little ridiculous. Um, all right. So work wise, let's just get everybody on the same page here. Everybody needs high priority that high priority that, um, you guys should not be cooking at all. <coughs> and actually Apron, maybe right should be the bigger cook because we got more crafting skills over here yeah jazza can be the artist actually do low priority there uh high priority hauling and cleaning i think is in order for everyone especially the new recruits the ones that can do it anyway uh, monkey can stay just as a researcher that's fine apron you got too much else on your plate even though you have a passion for it and you have a high skill i think we need to leave research to somebody else at this point um hunting macy can do hunt yeah the hunting is fine i think we're fine there i mean the guy's name is literally huntsman so we should be all right uh doctoring should be top priority it goes from left to right so that is fine yeah i guess cooking is just gonna have to be right right will be top priority on cooking and right now he's freaking out so he can't do it anyway uh, Eprin, you're visiting grave, but after you're done, I'm going to force you to cook. All right, we're getting some beds moved over and installed. I'm freeing this room up to stop being a bedroom and to start being some other type of production space because that's what we need at the moment. These corpses aren't going to rot until the, uh, season changes. Stream break risk. That's not good. Hopefully we get enough gear to not walk around butt naked in the cold uh holder i think you're gonna need to spend a little time tailoring my dude because trev's walking around naked like an idiot 
Yeah, this is going to be not not great. Uh, what are you doing, dude? All right. We are not going to do that. Jazz has, like, got a death wish. He just wants to, like, get murdered. All right, so Wright should be able to start cooking the simple meal. Well, we don't have any food anymore, but if we had food. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and make sure we're all on the same, same sleeping schedule. I'm definitely worried about the uh, the cold. Is there anything we can do? Oh, you know what? We need a, we need another couple chairs. They can be made out of steel. That's fine. We just need a place for everyone to eat because they all eat around the same time. It would probably be a good idea to send Macy away with some supplies at this point. We're going to need to buy some food or something to tide us over. So let's go ahead and form a caravan. Let's take a look at the world map here. And we can form a caravan to go here. 5.8 days, but it won't actually take that because we are going to bring some buffalo and a donkey. And we are going to bring Macy. And then we need to bring a bunch of stuff. So take some of the light leather, some of the plain leather, panther fur. I'll leave the thrombo fur for now, but I do want to bring like 500 muffalo wool. Okay, the rest of it can stay. Sandstone club. I won't take any of the steel stuff. I hope it doesn't rot, but if it does, it's not the end of the world. Uh, poor tribal wear. Definitely don't need any of that. Don't need poor duster, poor burka. You know, the, the quality is under 50%, so we could just sell all that stuff. I'll bring my silver with me in case I want to trade, but I think that should be good. Uh, I'll bring all the hay. I don't need this many simple meals. If anything, I'll bring like eight, and I'll bring the rest of the kibble. That should be fine. I it, It's enough food to get me there, and then I can buy more food when I'm there with the money I have, so... And I'm pretty sure she'll do some foraging as well. So not completely. Oh, hello. So can we get you? Let's see where this person goes. Uh, elk are up here. But the Ibex Ram and stuff are over here. So we'll go hunt these guys. And then where are these guys going to settle? Are they going to come over here or are they going to stop right here? Because if they're coming over here, I got a feeling we can wake some of these guys up. Actually, it would be fantastic if we can just piss these guys off right now. Uh, He's not the only one attacking, though. Who else is annoyed? Nobody? Oh, huh, interesting. Did we really just barely hit them? All right. We are going to go hide behind these guys. Hopefully, it'll be enough to make them mad. There we go. All right, you get in. You get in. Let them duke it out. Uh, Macy, you get back. Trev, you get back. Oh, what are you doing, Macy? Don't be an idiot. Get it. Oh, no. She's on fire. She's on fire. She's supposed to be going to the... No. All right. Get out of here. I don't know what is going on here. Alright, crisis of belief I'm not that worried about. Did they really just wipe out all the tribute collectors? Alright, so everybody stays indoors right now. No, base. Base is what I need everybody in. Alright, so everybody stays in base. We unrestrict everybody for now. Macy's down. Down but not out. All right, looks like they're going after this last person uh, who has a mono sword. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that didn't work out too well for them. Macy is getting just annihilated here, which is not good. At least this is all getting burned up. I kind of feel like we have to try to save. We have to kind of try to save her, I think. All right, let's, let's try to get everybody over here. This is not an ideal situation for sure, but I think we got to do something here. All right, let's try to get out here. Looks like everybody's kind of going back to the base. The mortar has not initiated yet. 
I hope she doesn't burn to death. All right, you are going to have to do something here. Do you have any medical? Right, you got some medical. Why don't you tend without medicine? And can you just put Macy out? She's on fire. Can we just say rescue? Uh, that's less than good. All right, let's try to get everybody up here. All right, they hit the rocks. That's fine. They're bleeding out in four seconds. There's literally nothing I can do to save them. Okay, so I think we're good. They're not following. They are active, and this is going to activate in three days. So right is definitely shot, but he's not bleeding out for a little while. Bonnie, you need to prioritize tending to Macy right away because that needs to be like priority number one. After she rests up, you got to get all those burns tended. Toxic fallout. That's not good. So that's going to ruin any possibility of future crops, which is also less than ideal. Oh, boy. So we got some real dilemmas on our hands here. Um, let's... I'm going to take Daniels, and I'm going to unrestrict them. Now, I'm going to leave them restricted to home. I kind of want to get those meals is the, is the issue. All right, we're okay right now. Macy somehow survived, at least for the time being. Uh, we're focusing on a little bit of cleaning. The toxic fallout, is that coming from... No, it's not coming from here. Although this is going to become a problem for sure. I really should just come up here and try to take this out. This is getting to be a little too much. Uh, this mortar is definitely going to be a problem. It's something we're going to have to address because that is not a sustainable situation. I don't think I have any bullets for this mortar, so I can't actually do anything with this. I'd like to set this as a target, but I, I just, there's no, there's no ammo. I don't think I can make any ammo either. I don't think I have the tech for that. Oh, wait, maybe I can. So we don't have any, so we don't currently have any chemicals, but I'm pretty sure that if I wanted to, I can make some or not. Not seeing anything. All right, well, we're definitely going to have to figure something out here. Did we? We did manage to kill one of these. All right, I am going to unrestrict everyone. That is a little risky, but I'm going to do it anyway. Do we have enough? Did everybody actually have a bed? It looks like it. All right, no, not everyone. Almost everyone. You're going to get some hand tailoring going on. We got some donkeys that join the area. Uh-oh. Okay, so what is going on here? Looks like we're hauling some bodies, and that's becoming a little problematic. Oh, really? Are you kidding me? All right. Shaman merchant coming from the bottom, which is not great. All right, at this point, I think we're just going to have to draft everyone. That corpse will burn. That'll take care of that problem. Uh, it, Macy has an infection in her neck, which is less than ideal. Let's prioritize tending. Let's just get back into the settlement more than anything. Are they just hanging out? The, they started a social fight, really? That's what they decided to do? All right, so you're not doing anything. Let's go ahead and equip you with EMP grenades. You have a sword which is not important at all you need to tend to macy stop doing other things all right are they just stopping right there i think they are all right let's get over here see if we can do literally anything she's going to meditate which is fine i think we've done all the bandaging we can do at the moment who has the next best social skill trev you are like naked <laughs> so that's not good um i think we could buy some pemmican right at least get some food what can we sell they don't want anything do we want to sell donkeys so unfortunately our silver is not available at the moment and we i don't think we can uh oh that's not good you have our frag grenades which is fine 
All right, let's go up here. We're going to loop around here. We're going to take this out. All right, they're leaving the map. Dangerous temperature. Not surprising. Trev, you're just going to hang out. Buffalo 5 was executed. That's okay. Uh, Are you being stupid? You're not being dumb. You're just not being smart. Okay, we're sneaking up here. Okay, you need to stop. All right, we need to make this not the home area. But I'm not worried about putting up fires over here. At least as of right now. None of this is home area. Okay. Bonnie, you need to come, like, over there. Like, just run away from that mess and join this mess. No, I think we're going to go this way. All right. Let's try to kill some of these guys. Who has the grenades? You do. All right, let's 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 get up here. Let's try to take this out. Nope. That's all right. We still took it out. Okay, we got to take this guy out. And then we can take that building out. That will at least make people happier. Okay, so now... Take out the psychic droner. People are definitely not happy with that. And then we can haul back our guy... Okay, good there. Is he dying? He's got serious hypothermia, which is not good. Oh, Wright's, Wright's uh, not in a great spot either. Uh, rescue, can you not rescue? No unreserved non-prisoner bed. All right, so what we need to do is temporarily change this to colonists, and we'll change it to medical. Literally just a hole in the floor, but it apparently is what we need. All right, what is going on here? Who is being attacked? Tycurion? Because he's too close to whatever's going on over here. All right, you guys go in this way. Enter the building this way. I shouldn't have to, like, babysit them like this, but apparently I kind of do. Bonnie, you can just grab the med kit. Oh, just got some hunting going on over here, apparently. Uh, colonist needs rescue. Hykurian. You're probably just freezing to death, right? Yep. Extreme hypothermia. Always a good time. Alright, Hykurian, let's rescue you. You're an idiot. Uh, speaking of idiots, Jazza, you come over this way and get into the building. Nope, you're down too. Alright, so Wright has extreme blood loss. Bonnie, you are gonna have to... Rescue right. Jazz is kind of on his own. Trev, you're dying of hypothermia. Actually. Oh, Doegio died. All right, well, if he died, then you can rescue Jazza. And actually, you need to tend to right immediately. Because his blood loss is severe. Yeah, if you don't, if you don't tend to his blood loss, he's going to die as you're hauling him back. We kind of have to take a risk here. All right, let's unrestrict that. Let's... Tend to write again. Well, let's pick up this herbal medicine. And then let's tend to write again. Please don't get... Please don't get hit by fire. That would be less than ideal. Okay, she did get, she did get hit. But it was after she saved him. Alright. Well, Doegio was expendable. Monkey is less expendable. I'd rather him not bleed out, but if he does bleed out, it's not the end of the world. I can't do anything about the animal wandering away right now. I'm really just trying to get everybody back in one piece at this point. There's certainly not even a guarantee of survival. Uh, Daniels can't even do medical. Your medical's not great. Trev has no medical. So hopefully, Bonnie gets in here and we get enough people. Uh... All right, I'm going to have to just tend to people without medicine. I just don't have any at the moment. Oh, no. Please tell me. 
Oh, it's it's the donkey. That's fine. The donkey can get shot at. That that doesn't bother me. All right, Jazz has got some hypothermia going on, but that's okay. We can live with that for the moment. Hopefully, he'll get better soon. Macy is not doing too well. Huntsman has some medical, but he's wandering around like an idiot up here. So there's not much I can do about that. Uh, let's allow all of this stuff up here. That's gettable without annoying these people. At least I think it is. All right, well, more important than this person is Macy. So let's go tend to Macy. And we can use actual supplies with Macy. I'm actually going to go to industrial tech medicine and just make sure we are tending with that. Pick up. Let's pick up the industrial tech medicine and then we'll tend. Jazza is not good. Not good at all. Let's rescue Jazza if we can. Hopefully there's enough time. I don't know if there is. Nope. All right, so Jazz is dead too, which is less than ideal. Uh, Bonnie is going to get some sleep. She's bleeding out, so she probably needs to tend to herself more than anything. Uh, Daniels is bleeding 17 hours. Aprin, 13 hours. All right, let's tend to Daniels. I just want to stop all the bleeding everywhere. I hate to lose two people, but it's only so much we can do. Let's tend to Aprin without medicine. Just get that done. I'm really sad that Jazza died. That was unfortunate. But there's only so much I can do. All right, Bonnie, you are free to go rest, relax, try to get some sleep. At this stage, I'm just going to put everybody inside the base because we definitely need some rest and recover. Um, if she's eating something. At least she's got that going for her. All right, nobody is bleeding. We did lose two colonists, which is a little unfortunate, but uh, I think we're going to have to put the cut in there for today. Everybody's pretty banged up from that uh, little excursion that we had. Hopefully, uh, it doesn't end up being the the end of us. Let's get back in the base, because I don't know why this naked man is still running around like an idiot. Um, Yeah, Macy is not... Things do not bode well for Macy. Uh, major infection. She is almost ahead on the infection, actually. She's, she's threading that needle, so to speak. So hopefully be able to pull this off. It's all going to come down to whether Bonnie can intend to it or not. All right, so Bonnie, you're going to have to tend to Macy again. Uh, Wright died. Oh, no. That was like our our cook. That was our cook. No, malnutrition. Oh yeah, everybody's starving to death too. That that's good. Well, let's make sure Daniels doesn't die from malnutrition. Feed him. He's almost out of food. <laughs> okay, so this is not. This is definitely not good. All right, Macy's in the green now, so she's fine. We unfortunately left this dead ram go a little too long. And that means we're not going to be able to get any meat out of that in a time where we're critically shy on meat. Uh, we actually should probably move this stockpile zone over here. I think we need to get the meat. Yeah, let's go ahead and put the corpses over here. Uh, we could do human and animal corpses in here. That's fine. Uh, do I, I said allow fresh. I don't, I don't want rotten in here. Uh, no. No, 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 no. You are not allowed to do that to our guy. <laughs> no, 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 no. You are not butchering our teammates. That is definitely a no-go. Uh, we can't... Unfortunately, we can't bury him at the moment. Because this nonsense. Uh, what's going on? Icurian. So what is the temperature in this room? 55. That should be fine. We should probably get him in his bed, though. Let's go ahead and deconstruct these. Maybe if we haul him to the correct spot, like just haul him to his bed, he'll get warmer quicker. Is he getting exposed to... No, he's not. Okay. We got our, our teammates are dead over there, but they're frozen, so everything's okay for the time being. 
Bonnie, I guess. Oh no, Apron, you're going. You're going back to being a cook for a little while, which is unfortunate. But we need the uh, need the food. Can't have anybody else starving to death. Uh, what's going on here? Oh, they're just hiding from the toxic fallout. That makes sense. Is there anything we can do with the wildlife? This this is kind of brutal because now we have to go here, right, to take out the toxic fallout, and then even separate from that, we have this cluster to take out and this cluster to take out that's going to knock out power in six days which knocks out heat which means we're just dead um because there's no heat although maybe we'll be out of winter by then um the bigger concern is this is going to start firing in seven hours and it's just gonna auto turret us and just start taking us down so we're going to need to patch up and get out here and start dealing with this relatively soon. Well, really soon. But anyway, I'll put the cut in here for today because we are going to try to take that on in the next episode. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, consider hitting the like button, subscribing to see more content in the future, and we will catch you in the next one.